Hello, welcome back. I'm so glad that you are back and I am back. This has been such a busy, busy summer and back to school is upon us. I know it's kind of depressing to see all of the school supplies out at Walmart, but it is here and we're starting school, so let's make up. So as many of you may know, I am a high school teacher and this is a time that we get busy getting our classrooms together, getting everything ready for the kids, getting everything ready for our own kids, buying stuff, putting stuff on our walls and all like that. But we need to think about what we are going to do when we go to school. Um, for I, for one, love to, of course, wear makeup, but I don't want to spend a whole lot of time in the morning doing that makeup because, you know, it's early, you have to be school, you have to be at school early and not only that you don't want to look you know too made up you want to look put together you want to look nice and you want it to last all day but you don't want anything heavy so today we are going to do um, a makeup tutorial I have not done one of these in so, so long. But the other day I was wearing a look and I'm like, this is very school friendly. So we're gonna use affordable makeup and we are going to um, just do a real life, back to school, normal, everyday, makeup look. So let's get let's get started. Okay, so we're going to get started with I already primed and moisturized my face. Um in the morning sometimes, you know, you don't have time to do all the primer and all and all like that, but um I did the Angel Veil and the NYX Hydra Touch, but you can just use your moisturizer. Moisturizer is a good primer. A lot of people think, "Oh, you know, I need to prime my face and I need to Yes, it's primers are good and they make your um your makeup last longer. Some of them do. Some of them just hydrate, some of them just mattify. Anyway, um your moisturizer or the cream that you wear in the morning um also makes a good primer. Okay, so I'm going to start with foundation. I always start with foundation and I have been using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint. This is a very, very lightweight um, hydrating foundation. And I've been mixing it with the Healthy Foundation from Physicians Formula. These two together are so good. However, you can use these on their own. Um, I use both of them because um, the Hydra Touch one from Neutrogena is a little bit too light for me. And so um, I mix it in with the other one. But this you can just swipe and go. Also, this has like a cooling sensation. I love that Hydro, that hydro what's it called? Hydro Boost one because it has a like a cooling sensation. And then I just dot the... Um, the Physician's Formula one all over my face. And this is really just easy to do. You can um, do it as well. Let me put my hair up, I think. I usually use a sponge to spread that around. You can use your hands. This um, foundation, these foundations are so lightweight that you can just use your hands to spread them and they will look good. Okay, so let's just put that on. Okay, so that foundation application took literally, I was watching my little clock here, it took literally 30 seconds. I just bounced my uh, my, my um, sponge and it was done. And see how it, it gives you a fresh look? It gives you a glowy type look, but it's not greasy at all. Okay, so if you do have oily skin, we're gonna set it. Um, if you don't have oily skin, you can actually leave it like this or set it very lightly. Okay, so for concealer, I don't want anything heavy because I'm gonna be wearing this all day long. I'm gonna be teaching. Sometimes the classroom is gonna be, um, you know, a little bit hot maybe you're going you're moving around I'm a high school teacher but this can also work for you know any grade level of course um, especially if you're an elementary school teacher um, you want to look nice but you don't want to you know you're on the floor I taught second grade so I know how that works okay so what I'm doing is just lightly um, highlighting the point the the center of my face and just getting these dark circles to look not so dark <laughs> And again, I'm not going for a full coverage. I don't want it to look cakey. I don't want it to look, I want it to look 
neat but better, right? So now that I've put that on, see that that gave me some coverage, but it's not like you don't look makeup-y. You don't look like you're wearing a whole lot of makeup, which is the point. I'm gonna use my Airspun Loose Face Powder. This you can find for like five or six dollars at Walgreens, at Walmart. It is a little bit scented. There is an unscented version of this, but I love this powder because you can set under your eyes, or I can set under my eyes. I have really dry under eye, and I really need to be careful about the powders that I use under my eye. But this one, it's a little scented, wow. But this one is so, if it wasn't for that scent, I would say this is the perfect powder. Um, because you can set under your eyes and it's, it's just, it's light. And then I'm gonna use the same powder to set my foundation. Even though I have dry skin, I always like, oh my gosh, this is scented. I always like to um, set my foundation because I think it lasts longer. But see, there it is all set. This powder is scented, but it goes away. That's the one thing I do like about this powder that even though it's scented, it goes away. Okay, so of course I'm not gonna go into bronzer and highlighting and all of that because we don't need all of that. We are busy, we are teaching, we are in school. So I'm gonna grab my CoverGirl Instant Cheekbones. This has been around forever and a day. And notice that it has three, um, three different colors. I am going to mix this one and this one. These two I'm gonna mix. And then I'm gonna use this as the topper so that it gives me a little bit of glow. So I am going to put this on my cheeks. I'm just gonna mix those two colors. Let me see if I can show this. Uh, these two colors right here. I'm gonna mix them and I'm gonna put them on the apples of my cheeks. And that gave you a beautiful flush, just healthy glow. One of the things I like about these, first of all, it's super affordable. In like $4 at Walmart, Walgreens, again, um, any drugstore. And also they're not matte, but they're also not glittery. They're just, they just give you a glow. I don't wanna say shimmer because they're not shimmery. They just give you a really, really nice glow. I'm gonna take this peachy color right here, the lighter one, and I'm gonna go with my um, Milani, with my Milani brush, and I'm just gonna go on top of my cheekbone really lightly, just to give me some glow. And you might think, oh, that's, you know, that's too many steps. You can skip that because this, um, this blush is enough to give you that healthy glow. So you can skip that top of the cheekbone thing. I just like it because I have dry skin and that makes me look a little bit less dry. Okay, let's move to, um, let's move to eyeshadow. Let's move to eyeshadow. And you might say, oh my gosh, eyeshadow for school? Are you crazy? I don't have time for that. Well, you do, because the look that I'm gonna do is going to be so, so easy with an affordable um, eyeshadow palette. And notice how I'm just taking whatever's left on my sponge and putting it on my eyelids because that's going to help me cancel out. I have really pigmented eyelids and that's gonna help me cancel some of that out so that my eyeshadow goes in. Um, so I'm not using a separate primer or anything like that I'm just using what's on my um, on my sponge and I'm just gonna set that really lightly with some powder and then I'm ready for eyeshadow before that because I almost forgot I am going to fill in my brows real quick I have um I have pretty pushy eyebrows I mean they're not super thin so I, I'm gonna go in with my elf um, brow pencil this is like a couple of dollars and this is one of the best eyebrow pencils that are out there. I have an eyebrow pen, an eyebrow pencil video coming up that I'm gonna compare different ones, high-end and drugstore. And this one, uh, just heads up, came out on top. Okay, so I'm gonna very lightly just fill in my brows real quick. This is a step that took me the most time to do and it took me about 30, 35 seconds because I don't want my eyebrows to look done. I want them to look natural. I want to fill in, for me, this area right here, these areas and the front of the eyebrow that are a little sparse, I want to fill that in so that they don't look, you know, not that, so that it looks sparse. And, and I'm going to be using the Make Me Brow from Essence. This gel is tinted and I'm gonna run that through my eyebrows just so that they're set. 
However, if you don't have time in the morning to do the pencil, don't do the pencil. Just run this eyebrow gel or any eyebrow gel tinted that is tinted through your eyebrows and you're done, especially if you have, if you don't have uh, sparse eyebrows. Now, if your eyebrows are sparse, I have a hair that is uh, killing me. If you have sparse eyebrows and you really need to fill them in, then take your time and do that. So if you have like 15, 20 minutes in the morning to get ready, then you know, take that time to enhance those things that you want to enhance. Uh, for example, my sister works on her eyebrows very much because she likes her eyebrows done. I don't have to work on my eyebrows so much. Okay, so let's move on to eyeshadow. And this is gonna be a super simple look. I am going to be using the Magnify Spice Edition from Rimmel. This is $8 at Walmart, Walgreens, again, any drugstore. And this is a true dupe for the Naked Heat palette that came out not long ago. And it is very neutral, but at the same time, it's got some shimmers that are fun to play with and that are good for every day. This palette is really, really good. So I'm gonna start with, um, I'm gonna take my brush first, and I'm gonna start with this color right here this um, mustardy, kind of dark mustard color, and I'm gonna run that through the crease. Okay, again, but I'm watching my watch, my clock right here. This is taking me about 10 seconds, 15 seconds to blend. Um, one thing I do like about these shadows is that they blend so, so well. So that's all that I'm gonna do on my crease. And now I'm going to take this color right here, this fun shimmery one. It's it's shimmery, and it's not shimmery. Oh, what's the word? It's, um, it's like a satin finish. It's so pretty. And I'm just gonna take it on my finger and I am gonna put it on my eyelid just all over my eyelid. And this is going to be so easy and every day, like you can totally wear this every day for school and be made up. I look pretty. And I'm gonna blend that out a little bit so that I don't have any harsh lines. And then I'm gonna take another brush and I'm gonna go into this white one right here and I am going to put that in the inner corner real quick so that I have some um, light in my inner corner right there and I'm going to take a little bit of that as well and I'm going to put it on my brow bone to have a little bit of definition and highlight up there okay and guys you are done with your eyeshadow you are done with your eyeshadow very simple and those three steps took nothing and you look, you look ready. You look ready for the day. Okay, I am going to line my eyes and you don't have to do this step. You can just go in with mascara and not line your eyes. I have tattooed eyeliner, so I can totally, totally skip this um, if, I, if I wanted to. But I'm gonna do brown eyeliner. Why brown eyeliner? Because I think it's softer and for daytime and for school, I think it's just your eyes get, get definition, but it is softer than black eyeliner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line my eyes. And I am done. That took about 15 seconds. I love this eyeliner. This is a Physician's Formula Eye Booster um, two-in-one lash boosting eyeliner serum and I have it in black and I have it in black somewhere around here. I have it in black and in brown. I usually use the black one but like I, again, like I said, for like school, I love to use the brown one because it just gives me that definition, but it's not harsh. It just looks natural. Okay, I am going to blend this blush a little bit more because it's looking a little crazy. Okay, and now I'm gonna go into mascara. And I have three mascaras that are super affordable. You can find anywhere. I have the Essence Lash Princess. This, uh, this is like $4. You can find it at Ulta. 
Um, it's very good to just lengthen and, and volu volumize your um, eyelashes. And then I have the Volume and Length Mascara from Koki. This is uh, found at Walmart. However, this is not found at every Walmart. I know that around me, the Walmarts um, that I have around me, I only find it in one that's a little bit further away from me. So this one could be a little bit tricky to find. Um, and then I have the Total Temptation by Maybelline. Out of all the, out of the three of them, which are all super, super good for every day, I'm gonna use the Total Temptation from Maybelline. I think it's the one that looks more natural and that, but gives you length and gives you volume and um, none of these flake or smudge or anything like that. But I think this one just um, is really soft and it goes soft on the eyelashes. Um, it's just, it's just good. It's natural, more, more, more natural. Okay, so that's mascara and you are pretty much done. What I'm gonna do now in this, in this step, you can totally skip. I don't like to skip it because I like my makeup to last all day. Even though I have, uh, I have dry skin, um, it tends to crack because I have dry skin. And if you have oily skin, use a mattifying spray. This is a setting spray. This one is from Wet n Wild. It's the primer water uh, from Wet n Wild. And, oh, it's not focusing. Anyway, I'll put a picture up. But this one is about $4. I also use the NYX hydrating one, which is really, really good. But I do think that taking two seconds to spray your face with either a mattifying spray if you have oily skin or a hydrating spray if you have dry skin makes all the difference when uh, you're trying to have your makeup last all day and look fresh. Um, okay, so last step is uh, lipstick. I have a little bit of um, lip oil, so I'm going to wipe that off. Okay, and the lipstick I'm going to use is the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Lip, and this one is in the color um, Bear With Me. It's in the color Bear With Me. I love, 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 love this lipstick. I love the color and I love, I put it on, hold on. I love this lipstick, like I was saying, because it is that perfect peach, not nude, brown nude, that everybody, no. It, it gives you life, it gives you a little bit of color, um, but it's more than your lips, but better. And it dries down in such a beautiful way, it does not stick to your teeth, and it lasts forever. It has avocado oil, so it also hydrates your lips, um, but it doesn't transfer once it's dry. And I love that lipstick, especially this color. Bear with me um, from the Physicians Formula line. Okay, guys, so that is all. Let me put my hair down. So that is all for my back to school makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do um, replicate this look, please let me know down below. Let me know down below your thoughts. Let me know what grade you teach. And guys, I will see you on my next video. Have a joyful and beautiful day. Bye-bye.